This uh, summit that we are holding in Kano today is very key because we've been running the Women Leadership and Financial Inclusion Program in the last two years. And what we are doing today is to consolidate the gains, you know, that these women have from these two years that we've been running. And the whole idea, yeah, this is year three. We've done the BLFI year one, and we've done the BLFI year two, and this is the BLFI year three. And we try to have the summit in Kano because we believe that the women in the Northwest are still underserved. And the purpose of the project itself is to address women that are underserved. Women are underserved not because they are not productive. A lot of women, in fact, I can confidently tell you that 85% of women across Nigeria contribute to the GDP of this country. But they are not heard and their faces are not seen. And this is the purpose of the establishment of New Faces, New Voices in the last 13 years. Your dedication to creating more opportunities for women to thrive in the dedication to financial wealth is truly inspiring together. Let's continue to break down barriers and build a more and equitable society for all. This will enhance work access, uh, access to leadership and drive change and progress. Financial inclusion is beyond merely operating a bank account. It's an all person tap. It includes having access to banks, having access to interventions by the government, having access to mentorship, having access to capacity uh, building, having access to whatever assists you as a woman in Tafurinoa, as owner of small and medium enterprises to, to expand your business uh, network with a view to promoting uh, productivity and profitability. Currently, we are experiencing technological uh, advancement, which is seriously affecting how we invest, how we uh, save our money, and how we undertake transaction. So any uh, training or uh, roundtable discussion that aim at enlightening women, particularly women entrepreneurs, is very, very essential and important. Today in Nigeria, transaction is more or less uh, carried out in a digital uh, manner. So to enlighten our women on how to go about taking advantage of this technology to carry out transaction or to invest their money or to save their money is very essential. The government is uh, working tirelessly to empower the women both in the urban and the rural uh, areas. As we are all aware, most of the petty uh, trading are owned by women or managed by women. And uh, currently, Kano State government had approved a lot of money to empower the women, which I believe most of them they will be getting around 50,000 uh, naira for head. AIT.live, on air, online, online.